Hello, today we are going through an introduction about the basic features of the Audubon Express software. Audubon Express is a CT image post-processing application dedicated to the automatic segmentation of bones from CT and geography data. In order to start, highlight in the workless browser the series that you would like to process. In this example, a runoff angio is selected. Afterwards, select the 3D viewer or the application shortcut to run the software. Autobone Express has anatomy dedicated protocols. Please note that the applied algorithm is different for head and neck protocols as compared to other anatomies. It is therefore important to make sure that the proper protocol is selected. In this case, we select Autobone Express Run Off. The images will load and after a few seconds, the initial segmentation result is shown. The screen layout shows a 3D MIP image with the bones subtracted. In addition, axial, sagittal and coronal views are displayed. The auto select options are displayed by default. The small vessels feature is intended to be used for the segmentation of vessels below 5 mm in diameter. Select any structure for vessels above 5 mm. When clicking on the small vessels icon, the MPR images are annotated with a green contouring and a red overlay. Any structure outside the green contouring and not overlaid in red has been subtracted in the processed volume. This will help us to review the segmentation. In this case, we will look at the missing area near the left popliteal artery. We can see that this area has been subtracted along with the bones. The missing area can easily be added by clicking with the left mouse button over the MPR or the 3D image. Remember that one fast click will launch the Autobone application and add all similar structures. There is always the option to go one step back in the editing process by selecting Undo. Pressing the left mouse button continuously allows the user to control the addition manually. When satisfied with the segmentation, we can proceed to reviewing the case and saving all the relevant images. Now we will zoom from the active annotation and focus on the aorta and iliacs. To pan the image, click on the active annotation and scroll down. The window is adapted with the middle mouse button. One key feature of Autobone Express in body protocols is the capability to segment not only the bone, but also perivascular calcium or endovascular devices. To use this feature, go to the calcification, include active annotation on the main view and click it with left mouse button. A menu is displayed allowing us to choose between three options. Calcification included, which is the option by default, no calcification or calcification only. In this example, the removal of calcification displays the stenotic zone better in the right distal anastomosis of the patient's bypass. In the Auto Select tab, if we click Transparent Bones, we change to a multi-volume rendered view with transparent bones. The multi-objects panel is opened and in this panel, the level of opacity applied to each segmented volume can be changed. We can also select if we want to have certain volumes to be visible or not. Remember that the panel can be docked. To go back to the prior view, please select the MIP option. In order to display the transparent bones again, click on the icon Transparent Bones. To save the selected image, right-click on the image you would like to save and select from the following options. Save image will save the selected viewport. The keyboard shortcut for this option is S. Save image as offers the possibility to add a description. Save all images will save all four images displayed on the screen. Save screen is a screen capture of the current view. In the export menu, there are a few more options. Quick export allows setting up a default saving protocol of the volume with just a couple of clicks. 
including options for the 2D views or 3D views by simply changing the number of rotations you would like to have. By clicking, the images are exported accordingly. The Export Option batch is similar, but there are more options for customization, including the addition of a description, changing the orientation of rotation, the preferred output, angle, etc. Another option is to send the images as screen captures to the filmer. By pressing F1 on the keyboard, the images under the cursor are sent to the filmer. Having the images in the filmer with the preferred layout, the images can be saved in the database as screen captures, either as one combined image or as individual images. All the images saved can be found in Patients folder in the Worklist browser. With the right click, the images can be networked manually. Alternatively, the images can be auto-pushed if configured. Thanks for viewing. In the next tutorial video, we will cover more features of Vessel IQ and Autobone Express.